And I think we may be. Hello there, Coffee Time friends. How y'all doing? It is Saturday after what's Saturday evening now. Um, can we talk about strawberry pie? It's that season, can you believe it? It is almost headed into June. May is well, over half over this weekend. Five months of this year down. Can you believe oh, it? I can't. Here. Ooh, I got that really full. <laughs> I can drink it though, I promise. Mama used to tell me when I was little, now you better drink every drop of that mess you've mixed up. Did your mama's ever tell you that? I'd mix up stuff with my mama. <laughs> strawberry milk and chocolate milk. Do y'all remember being kids and getting strawberry powder in a metal tin with a lid that you could not, could not get off unless you took a spoon and put the uh. handle in there and prize it and it would pop really loud. I think they only done that so parents would hear you. I really do. <laughs> I was bad about mixing it up. I'd mix up, you know, more seemed better, so I'd mix up a big old glass. And then I'd leave half of it most. Now, you better drink every drop of that mess you've mixed up. That's right. Wasting meal. Well, this is iced coffee in my, well, it's in my y'all sweet tea uh, holder here. And it's in it because it was in the drainer. We'll talk about iced coffee in a minute. Mama wants to make strawberry pie, and I'm wanting her to. So here we go. Mama, tell them all about it. Oh, well, I used a cream cheese, and I just throw that paper away. Just, just an 8-ounce block of cream cheese. Yeah, here. Just a, 8 ounces of cream cheese. And this is our Colburn Farms brand, and this is the brand we have at our local store. Uh, we don't have the Phil Philadelphia. I've never got what it is. It's been yeah. so long since I've seen the other. But this is very tasty and very good. It's eight ounces of cream cheese. Okay, and a cup of powdered sugar. One cup of just plain old powdered sugar. And this is a half a cup. It's, I keep in my thing, so I'm going to put two of those. That'll make a cup. Mama's 50-some-year-old canister, Tupperware canister. And I keep... <laughs> I keep a little sifter and a cup both in here all the time in my powdered sugar container. Makes it simple, don't it, Mama? Yeah. Oh, mercy. I seen just then. You see, there's the turbo mixer. <laughs> it's a sunbeam, and they don't even make that kind anymore. I put, oh, Mama, that's bad right there. I know it. Oh, let's do something to, with that. I got it twisted. No, no, wait, wait. Let me. No, no, I'll no. I'll hold no. it in my hand. Okay. You're going to hold it? Yeah. Okay, folks, that Get could have been dangerous. Uh, cool whip? Cool whip, and I've got two hyphal ones, and how I ended up with that with some of these recipes we've made that I have. Well, you do, Mama, right there. They are two hives. Yeah, and add them in here. Here you go. Oh, add them in? Mm hmm. Before you start. Well, it's a. Uh... Oops. I don't want the powdered sugar to fly everywhere. No. Which it will. And the other half coming up. Now you all feel free to use one. <laughs> you don't have to get two halves. You just, you just go ahead and get one. <laughs> one uh, eight ounce cool whip. Cool whip. Okay, you ready for it? I'm ready, Mom. You got it under control? Yeah, I think I've got it. Let me turn it. I'm going to turn it. <laughs> Looking good. Yeah. You want to sprinkle of salt in it? No, oh, it don't call for me. I just do it like it says. This is noisy, but that's the part of cooking. Hate to make the noise, folks, but if you're going to cook, you're going to have to make some noise. I'm going to get my recipe right down here and make sure I can. This is a graham cracker crust, pre-made, pre-bought, already in here. Right here, you can read this. 
Yeah. I can read it. Well, I'll make sure I've got. Wait a minute. Well, I was making sure I had everything in it for you, don't I? Well, I'm going to push it down anyway. You go ahead and read. And... Uh, well, this calls for cool uh, whip top and dream whip, and I don't have it milk. So cool whip works. We use oh, it. Oh, uh, eight ounce cream cheese and a cup of powdered sugar instead of the dream whip, which says you can use a cool whip. And. Uh, that's, that's, here, Mama. that's all I need for that. And then my strawberries and my glaze and the graham cracker crust. I think I've got it all right. It's coming out of the Big White Book, folks. Maybe someday we can publish the Big White Book. Oh, it would take a big up. book to get all those in there. We may have to do two volumes, Mom. Yeah, gonna... We're not got that in the plans yet, but we someday. Right now, our cookbook energy is going for the church. I'm going to throw these sort of stuff out of my way. Look here, Mama. You've got a spoonful over here. Yeah, get that off. Ooh. You took one bite and left a bit. Okay, now we can... You, you want to put it in here? I, I was just scraping it down. I was just going to make sure that we had it all. Ah. I moved it over and I moved mine and we about missed the pie crust. You did a good job of scraping I that. do a good job, Mom. Yeah, I didn't have to do much. Got it about all out. Now you can smooth it out. Alright. Just smoothing it out in the graham cracker crust. Some of you fancy people will probably make your own crust and that would be good too. But this is all about taking it simple and easy. This is, this is my, um, I don't know, I may be speaking out of turn. Is this your favorite strawberry pie? Yeah, I used to love the. This is mama's favorite. My favorite is the cook kind. The Shoney's. Uh, with the. My, that's my favorite. Jello. Now dad liked both of them. He didn't care. But mom, I think this is her favorite. I like the cream cheese and the strawberry. I like the cream cheese, but there's just something about that other. Because, you know, I think, if I'm not mistaken, you used to only make the other. Here's a knife that I had to... You can scrape some of that off there, Mom. The, hmm, cream cheese on. This pie is wonderful. This will be a good little Sunday treat tomorrow. Now, well, this is one of those setters. Um, it's better if you let it set. So, we probably will. I probably won't want to, but I probably will. Okay, and now, this is so simple, you see. Can y'all see good? Now, some of y'all were saying you couldn't see for the comments. Just swipe those. Take your hand and just take them just like this. And go whoop, and they'll go away. And this is... Strawberries and big old strawberries, and I just these are those California berries we got last weekend. Ca Car Carolina berries. Ca yeah, I couldn't get out Carolina at all, and I've just washed them and capped them and sliced them here. They're and still delicious. Mm -hmm. Ooh! Did I make a? You just hit it, and it, the crumbs popped up. I thought it was something out of the bowl. Oh, I hit the crust paint. Now, you don't want to get fancy and lay the... Well, you can, but the best way to do it is pile them. You know, Mom. Why? Pile Ooh. them. I see a little speck of leaf. Put it right there, Mom. Yes, sir. I don't know. How many years? This is glaze. Strawberry glaze. Now, whatever brand you use and whatever you have, I'm sure will be fine. I'm just going to kind of mix it up a little bit. I had plenty of strawberries. I was wondering if I cut up enough. I reckon you did, I did good, Mama. That looks delicious. I love this time of the year. I love the foods of the summer. You can't beat good summer food. You can't beat good garden food and strawberries are in and peaches will be coming and that it's just so good and we we participate in all the good seasons <laughs> we don't let strawberry season go by that we don't get some strawberries and we don't try not to let peach season go by that we don't get some peaches and make something good with them 
and uh, I just cut the little corner off here. Now I, this is called Wix Wix Pie Incorporated, ready to use glaze, strawberry glaze. No refrigeration needed, but you will want a refrigerator after you put on the pie. I'll put it in a refrigerator and keep it because I like it to stay good and cold. Mama says she does it her way anyway. And that's all this is. Let's kind of just coat the breweries off. And that's what you want to do. What we're doing, well, you can't see, sorry. You just want to <laughs> put it in there and kind of roll your breweries around in it. You can do this with both hands, but I'm just helping Mama. <laughs> You can out. put them in a bowl and do them and put them on here. But if you ain't careful, they'll slide off. If you get them all coated and they don't stick to that cream cheese on the bottom, because I know some of y'all are going to say, why don't you put those in a bowl? And then when you put them on there, they will slide off. So we wanted to pile them up. So this way they hold to the bottom, but then you kind of get all this down in there. Watch it, I'm not moving fast enough for Mama. Emma. Mm -mm. <laughs> uh -uh. She's like, I want some over here. I could tell by her look. I wasn't even making no faces. Mama, I know you. Let's get some more over on Yes, ma'am. I was already over there. I was ahead of you. If you if you want to put them in a bow, you can, but put you some on and then pour these over top so it'll hold on better. Keeps it from sliding, don't it, Mama? Yeah. We learned that the hard way. On my soda salad one time, my top slid off. I didn't get it fixed right. Now that's probably enough. Just squirt it off because it ain't going to be Yes, ma'am. It ain't going to be used for nothing. Oh, it else. could be, Mama. What would you use? It? I'd pour this over some cream cheese or... Yeah, I'd use you this. You got cream cheese right here. Eat the pie. I know, but I would use it for another day. Like the day after the pie's gone, you're still wanting a slice? <laughs> no. <laughs> I probably wouldn't have really used it. I probably said, ah, it's good. You know me, Mom. But we don't waste. Just but I don't know if all this is going to go on there. Oh, it'll go. I guarantee you. Well, where's it going to go, though? It'll be out over the pan. Be going right on top of these strawberries. <laughs> this is pretty enough to take some horse. Take some horse? I hate when you start talking that talk, Mama. You don't want it took no No, way. we can't take it no worse. This is family pie. This has to stay here with the family. Oh. Okay, I've got it on my hand. Uh-oh. I'll have to figure out what to do with it. I licked it off, Mama. I felt like I had to. Oh, wow. Now, folks, that's beautiful. When you get ready to serve it, you can get some of that ready whip in a can, cut you off a slice, and put it right on top. Makes a beautiful serving. Look here, folks. Now, look at that. Now, that is some good eats. Look at that. Mm -mm. Mama, will this pie make it till tomorrow? No. Tune in next time and find out the answer. <laughs> we can eat something tonight. We ain't having company or nothing. So it... But I guarantee you, Mama, if we was having company for lunch tomorrow... You couldn't eat none of it. No. Mama said, no. Don't you make that pie look bad. You can't eat it if you're going to have company. I can't cut it. Oh, it's that time of year, folks. It's 80, It's 74 right now, but it's been 80 today. It's iced coffee time. Now, that's simple, easy. Sir, I didn't get much. Simple and easy fixed. You can you show them the finished. I did, Mama. Coated. I did. How do I make iced coffee? I know somebody's going to ask me that. John, do you live with Mama now? Pat Wood uh, is watching. Pat, I do stay here most of the time because Mama had a little problem with her sugar levels. But she's getting them in check. Not with pie like this. But not today. Not today, Pat. Uh, we may have to be a little more vigilant. But we eat moderation. And Mama does real good. Now I'm going to have to tell you, she had it was a little high. 
But she switched to those zero pops. I've even caught her more than once drinking water. <laughs> so it helps. It really does. Um, and she's done better with it. We went to the doctor and the doctor said, Miss Davis, we want you to be as active and healthy as you are for a good long time. So let's get this sugar level a little lower. And Mama said, I'm going to do it. <laughs> she did. She has. Well, let's talk about iced coffee. So now I had coffee, coffee today, of course. Coffee, coffee had something. Black coffee. That's my morning routine. I start out every morning. I mean, that's my usual. My coffee of choice is black coffee, regular plain old coffee. And that's how I want to start my day out. Now, as the day gets on, I make... Maggie says somebody's here. As the day goes on, I get a little more venturesome. And I'll go with some coffee um, flavors. This particular right here, I feel that my Y'all Sweet Tea, if y'all haven't tried Y'all Sweet Tea, you can get it on Amazon. We've got some in the refrigerator. I drink it. It's very good. And y'all sent us some, and we appreciate it. I know a lot of other shows show that. Um, they don't sponsor us or anything, but they do send me some tea every once in a while, and I appreciate it because it's delicious. But I have purchased them on Amazon, and it's good, too. So I use this cup because it was in the drainer. But I filled it full of ice, and I poured my coffee over top of it. And then I used some of Mama's French vanilla creamer, just a little bit. And then I stirred it up real good with this spoon. And uh, that's it. And it's delicious. It's like a milkshake with coffee flavored milkshake. You got company, Mom? No, I don't see nothing. It must have been. Could have been a rabbit. I'm telling y'all, I'm a country boy. I've been my whole life. And I, I know what rabbits are. My daddy raised them. And y'all know tame rabbits are big old rabbits. Now, I'm pretty sure that we got a tame rabbit here. Or we've got a Arnold Schwarzenegger of the <laughs> wild rabbits. It was humongous. We came home from church the other night, and there was, a, there was a rabbit in our yard sitting straight up. It's a dark color. But that thing was this big. And it had a head on it that big and big old long ears. I thought it was a fox. Mama didn't see it. I and did later, but I didn't see it. She seen it as it was darting across the driveway. I said, Dad, come look at that rabbit. And she said, What rabbit? Oh, that rabbit. <laughs> Biggest rabbit I ever seen. And I thought, in the wild. Now, it was bigger than a tame rabbit. And some of y'all are going to say, What's he talking about? Tame rabbits use their bigger, fluffier rabbits. Wild rabbits, around here anyway, use their just little old bitty brown rabbits. Uh, but now this one was big, wasn't it? This was a great grandpa if it was it's, totally yeah. wild. So I've been wondering what Maggie's been acting crazy about sometimes. And I think it could be that rabbit because he was right there in the front yard. Every once in a while, Maggie goes out and she thinks it's the smell of every blade of grass in the yard. And I'm like, what is she doing? Now I know. Or the critters cross. I believe it's a rabbit. I believe it's that rabbit she's smelling. So she may have seen him out there. But she barked like somebody was out there. Do your dogs have distinct voices and barks and pitches and whatever you want to call it for different things? I can usually tell if it's, whoa, if it's a UPS guy. If oh. it's Scott. Her Scott bark is massive, fierce, and, and it's like an alarm. It's just, rah, 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 rah. It's just wild. Because she knows Scott's here with a biscuit. But if it's a person, she kind of barks like she will go. But if it's another dog, you get about three growls. Then a bark, maybe. And then some barks. So we usually know if it's a dog or a person or the UPS. Love strawberry pie. You both look great. Well, thank you, Brenda. What, does anybody have any questions about Mama's pie? That's one of the great things about a live is we can talk about it. It's and sample. Mama, let's... Let's go over it. And y'all get your pencil, piece of paper, and write this down, just in case. And we've got it on another video and another written out version last year. So, Mama started out with an eight ounce block of cream cheese, and she let it get to room temperature. Yes, it would do so much better. 
And then, how many strawberries do you use, Mom? I don't know. Well, I'll let's talk about little bitty squires, like you'll buy at Kroger. Oh, I use about one and a half or two of those, I guess. Let's say two was, of them, because there's a lot of them. strawberries. So she used one of those, but you can use me as you want to. And uh, one graham cracker crust. Mm -hmm. And uh, you could make your own if you want to. Yeah. But if you don't I've want got to. some graham crackers, but... This uh, was so I'm making juicy. Mama feel bad. She's like, I could have made one if you wanted one. No, Mama, this is great. I'm all for the shortcuts, people. Shortcuts this is are easy, great. Quick. Then what else, Mama? It's a block of uh, cream cheese, eight ounces. Uh, one cup of powdered sugar or con or confectioner's sugar. Uh, and one uh, tub of Cool, cool whip. whip. We'll use two hanks, yeah. but you all can use just used one. Used to. The recipe's kind of old and stuff. We used a dream whip and a half a cup of milk and made our own whip and stuff. But, but we don't this, have to do that now. It's the cool whip and, and the cream cheese and the powdered sugar mixed together real smooth. Put it in your pie crust. Put your sliced strawberries on top. And then get that glaze and put on top of that. And it's simple, quick, easy, and really refreshing. It is very good. Very tasty for any Sunday dessert. Now, you all know how we do dessert here on Sundays for the most part. We wait around. It is coffee. We forgot to mention it. Oh, we wait around to 2 or 3 o'clock in the evening and usually have a cup of coffee. Even Mama will have coffee a lot of times. And we'll have our dessert then after we've had our lunch. Let it settle for a minute. Y'all let food settle. That's a southern thing we do. Let that good. settle. Who who brought this, Mama? It's uh, Cheryl Edwards, our friend in New Hampshire, I believe. Miss Cheryl Edwards sent this coffee. You know, she's uh, one I've been asking prior for that failed. Miss Cheryl, thank you so much for the coffee. Pete's coffee. You sent me some before, I believe it was you. Somebody did. This one's called Medium Roast Big Bang. And this one's just called Major Dickinson's Blend. They smell good. You can smell them. They got little vents here. Mama. <laughs> little vents here on the front, and they you can smell them. I love to smell coffee. Oh, smells good. And she is the one that's failing was in bad shape and stuff and she's getting better and got to come home and got their ramp built so she can get in and out now so thank you miss cheryl miss cheryl edwards we're still praying for you and we thank you so much you're so kind y'all are so kind i'll scoot my pie back over here to tempt them <laughs> mama's wanting to show her pie again look at that mm. put the lid on it now look at that wonderful wonderful mama you did great yeah and that was quick and easy simple yeah do you know what we're having for lunch tomorrow I haven't got a clue haven't got a clue we what may have, have hot dogs or chili you know or... what mama I was just thinking we had hamburgers last night it's time for us to have a hot dog you think we're on a roll again to do that again <laughs> hot dogs be fine for lunch for me I want some uh homemade chili. I just want maybe a chili bun too. I love chili now buns. Now you're talking Mama. I think we've decided. So tomorrow's lunch looks like it's going to be hot dogs and chili buns. You want some coleslaw Mama? I just want chili buns <laughs> to eat or hot dogs. I might make us up some coleslaw. Well, slaw dog. Slaw dog. Do y'all like slaw dog? Sauerkraut dog? Mm. I wish we had some brats. I didn't get brats for I love some brats. Now, to me, a brats and a hot dog are two totally different things. And we usually, when we have one, we have the other. Like, we will we will. Grill. I usually fix you brats and me just the hot We'll dog. grill up brats and hot dogs, and we'll have both, you know, and, and they're even good the next day. Uh, how do y'all like your hot dogs? Mama likes hers burnt. No, not burnt. Just kind of on the black and so <laughs> You do grill them over far now. I like them kind of burnt. Black. And <laughs> do you want some iced coffee, Mama? No, thank you. 
So it may be a simple Sunday so lunch and tomorrow. Yeah. Hot dog sounds good. Yeah. That'd be easy cleanup. Homemade chili. I want that. Hot Ho dog chili. Homemade Not hot dog chili. chili. Now we have hot dog chili and we have bowl chili. Do y'all have separate chilies? <laughs> Thank you for those stars. Pamela and y'all had a stars party last night it was wonderful yeah. we I was taken by surprise I looked up and there was stars I don't know if y'all see the stars party but you get this big burst of hands and colors and it's a party uh, let's see your Anna's Anna you thought it was cook along day Anna, we're, we've not really set a day, but we're looking. Maybe if things work out, maybe next Saturday. We are going to have, um, we're going to do the cake. Oh, now, the cake recipe calls for a 9 by 13. But I think we're going to use the bump pan. You said somebody said you. Well, someone suggested said they had made that cake and it would work out good in a bump pan. And they'd made it in the thinner and it was different, you know, the 9 by 13. So I think we're going to try the bump pan just to be take some advice. Uh, I did buy Mama a new bump pan. Oh, Mama, Mama has this older bump pan that she's had for a long time, and it's always been a good pan. You all probably have it. It's an aluminum one, Mama. Oh, it's a avocado green. It's avocado you green. Can't tell how old it is. If that tells you anything, it's a seventies model. <laughs> And the past three times she's made bump pancakes in it, even though she never had problems before, it's stuck. You know, if you're yeah, gonna... thinking about it, it could be just that olive oil spray because I, that's what I've been using lately. Well, Mama, you done got a new pan out of the deal now. I know it. It worked over. <laughs> what did they do? Spill water on it? I don't know. It, it secretly came out of something here. So I found this one online and it said it was a, Wilton, Wilton. it's a Wilton brand, it's on Amazon, and it said it was, comes out perfect or perfect, I don't know, but it was, what was it called? Perfect something, other, every time. Perfect every way, every time. So. If y'all have this pan, and if you do, if you have any recommendations, never have used it, but we're going to use it for the cook along. It's a little nerve wracking to come on here with you all. And bake a cake, and then worry about is it gonna come out? I mean, you always have a little worry, but Mama said, "I don't want to use that bun pan and it fall all to pieces. Won't that be embarrassing?" I yes, said, it would be. "Yes, it would be, Mama. I can't believe you do something like that." And I said, "Well, I'll buy you a new one. I'm sure there's a bun pan on Amazon or at the store or somewhere." So this is what I come up with. So if it don't turn out, folks, it'll be 100% my fault. But I thought it had these nice handles. Her other one didn't have any handles. For, you know, flipping. This is, it ain't no problem getting them out of the stove. But when you go to flip it, if you don't have clearance for your hands, you find it's harder to flip. So we're anxious to try this out. So you say don't use the olive oil. I thought about it the other night when I was trying to go to sleep. And I've been using canola oil. Right. And Don't they have a baker spray? Yeah, they have a baker spray. So won't you use it? I didn't have it. <laughs> I had to use. <laughs> Mama was born in the old west where you had to. <laughs> if you didn't have it, you had to wait till the winter thaw to you could go to the store. We can well, get some baking spray. You know I don't spray. go. We could get some baking spray, Mama. I know, but that's. But I thought about it. That's the last two or three times I've used it. It's been I've been using that can of uh, what did I say it was? Use okay, Mama, right here. Let's see what Maxine. Oh, she's telling us. Lorenza says Maxine says use Baker's Joy spray for baking. Find it at Walmart. Now, Mama, there's. The... I've used it, but I didn't have it. Pam spray works good. Pam, I've used that. All of them work good except this. Uh, I love mine. You can make olive oil, pineapple upside down. Okay. Oh, do you have this one, Peggy? This Wilton. She says you make great pineapple upside down cakes in it. Oh, Mama. that we've not had. That I would Mama. use Pam spray. I agree with Mama. 
the olive oil spray may be the issue. Well, thank you, because she's been quite upset, Lisa. Uh, the first one, we were taken to church, <laughs> and it stuck, and I fixed it myself. And you I tell you what tell I did. It, I tell you what I did. I used some glue on it. Oh, you did not use glue on it. I took that piece of chunk. It was a big chunk off the top and let it real easy. And then I mixed up my glaze, and I glazed it. And then I put that piece back on it. And it did. <laughs> and it glued it on there. And then I sprayed the glaze over top, and you couldn't even tell it. I guess whoever got that piece thought, oh, there's a lot of glaze on this one. <laughs> oh, we got to go to that piece. I love the glaze. <laughs> and uh, so that, we saved that night. And then the next the one she done was for us. And boy, it, it really stuck. And then she done one last week, and it really stuck. And she said, that's it. This I, It's done something wrong. And so we blamed the pan. But I finally, I think, figured it out. So now you got two pans, Mama. Yeah. So that means I... I can bake double cakes. I started to say. Now we need twice as many butt cakes, so we could do a pineapple upside down. And I needed them when your daddy's alive, because I always had to... If I baked a cake like that to take some more... Well, always, it wasn't sticking back then. I know it. I told you, I believe How many of y'all got an avocado green butt cake <laughs> pan you still use it? Oh, now, yeah, Johnny, that's not my best people. <laughs> Where are you going? Getting my Y'all have seen it, I'm sure, but this one don't have any color on it. And it's supposed to, I guess it's coated with something. I don't know. If y'all have that pan and you got some... I seen it coming. I just couldn't do nothing about it. I could, but I was like, ugh. This, this pan is so old. Now, Mama, I want to tell you something. When I was looking at these, see, look at this. He may got this pan. <laughs> it's lightweight. And look here. It really works. And it's been good. I told Mama, I said, Mama, it's been good. you ain't never fixed nothing in it, in, you know, other than a cake. And I don't know why, but all of a sudden, just turn on you and start sticking like crazy. So maybe we'll use some Baker's Joy. And I try this one back out. We may not retire you after all. I'm not all. going to retire it till yet. It's good, I think. Trust me, people. I'm going to tell you. If this one will work again, use it. this new one will never get any action. It'll yeah, just be it laying will. There. Mom, I'm going to tell you a little something. So, when you go online, yeah. you look at these pans. And they've got all kinds. Okay. And they've got different patterns. But I specifically picked this pattern out. Because look here, Mama. It, it matches. matches. Oh, okay. And I thought, you know, it matters, folks. When you when you have childhood memories of this one your whole life, since the 50s, I guess. I don't know how long she's had it. but Ever I've been since I have a call the cream. In the 70s. And I thought, now that one looks like Mama's. Because some of them was really sharp. And they had big ridges and different design. But I wanted one that still looked like Mama's butt cake. And did I do good? picking yeah it did good well mama that gives me new hope so maybe we'll just try this little booger out with some baker's joy i didn't know you'd switched oils yeah that's spray well they agree with you two or three of them already said it's the, it's well, the olive I couldn't oil go to sleep and you know how you get things on your mind and you're thinking and i thought no i'd bake that cake that day and i thought okay mama here we have uh, candy Candy Nelson says she has this one. Yeah. She loves it. Yeah, Thank I you, Candy. I love that one too. Thank you, Candy. Uh, right here, Mama Debbie says she uses short and dust it with flour. I did that all my life until this spray stuff come out and I started using it. Baker's this. Joy is the best to use. Mm -hmm. I leave no flavor. It leaves no flavor behind. Mm -hmm. Pam leaves a flavor and don't. Use it for that. Well, thank you, Denise. Okay, folks, we're going to go with Baker's Joy, I guess. Or Mama can use... Uh, do you even have solid lard here? I've got butter flavor Crisco. It's all in the little, little pads like butter. We may have to use, get some Crisco and flour. I can't wait to make this strawberry pie, John and Mama. Uh, it's please use Baker's Joy. Sabrina, we're going to, we're going to get some. If I know, 
See, I, I don't know all this stuff. If I well, had I not, didn't realize it till I couldn't sleep and fall. She didn't down. realize this stuff. I bought her a new pen. If if I now this wasn't too expensive either. This I think it was less than fifteen dollars for a good pen. Yeah, I didn't good. think that was bad. No, that's not bad. They had some on there for forty and forty five, but. This one was voted. I I'm a big put a forty-five one in the oven. I'd be able to I'm a big it. research person. I'll go to Google mm -hmm. and see best bump pan, and this one said best pan, best bang for your buck. I like that part. And it said this was it. So that's what I ordered, and it was fifteen dollars. Mm -hmm. So there you have it. We got two, and they'll mm -hmm. match. See, you can make two cakes, and they would match exactly. Yeah, that's not bad. Thank you all, and I'm going to get her some Baker's Joy. I made, uh, what was it, my pumpkin one year. Pumpkin roll? No, a pumpkin. Oh, yeah. And I baked two. I had to bake it, and then I had to wait, wait and fix it, the second one, so I could put one on top of the oven, and it made a pumpkin, and I Oh, and oh no, Mama! I was okay. Let's rewind. My mind was not there. I I remember you made a pumpkin this way. Yeah. But I was thinking you made pumpkin bread one time, and you had to make two of them. They had to wait. You can make a pumpkin like that right there with these. Yeah. So you make. Um, I think we used spice cake, wasn't it? it was with a pumpkin? No, I made a pumpkin. Orange. Uh, Orange cake. I put orange icing on it. I remember that. But you can make a pumpkin with two bunt cakes. Turn like this. And you put your icing on it. And then you make um, a cupcake and put it in the top. The stem. And then you put chocolate icing on it. Green. Um, stem. Uh, that's back when we were party people. <laughs> when we did stuff. Party people for us. Party can be... You know, different when, things. But ours was family get-togethers. When we used to have our Better Circumstance Party when every... When smarter. We used to have a family... Kids. We used to have our Better Circumstance Party every year. The Saturday before Halloween, and the whole family knew to show up. And we tried to be no excuses, just be there. Act like it's a funeral. And, you know, people will drop everything for a funeral. And the person's done gone. And this way, we would call it a Better Circumstance Party because inevitably, when you get to the funeral home... This is just a fact, folks. We all lose people. But people would get together. They hadn't seen each other in forever. And inevitably, somebody would say, "I am. it's so good to get to see you all. I just wish it was under better circumstances. Yeah. And uh, we do. We wish it was under better circumstances. So me and Mama decided we would have a better circumstance party. And we would just invite the family over, invite the neighbors, invite anybody who wanted to come, and call it a better circumstance party and say treat it as seriously as you would a funeral except this way we all get to visit and have a good time and it is under better circumstances so we've done that for years we taught and life and enjoyed and it's everybody the saturday was... before halloween and we would have everything pumpkin everything orange and everything delicious we had pumpkin pumpkins made like this we had uh, punch and we had mama's macaroni salad and pimento cheese and all the things that we love to fix we'd have bowl chili bowl soup and we hope to do that again we really do when we uh, was fixing the garage in that was one of our goals was to make a place we could get because we used to do it right here in the house have you ever had 75 people in your house at one time it's hard to get around to everybody and enjoy. Well, some sat out in the carport that we had then too, but it was it was good. It was a good time. That was pre-COVID, but hopefully we'll be able to do that again. But anyway, you've heard us talk about that before, but some of you new people may not have. But anyhow, that's Mama's new bump pan, and she'll probably, if we get back her choice, she'll probably end up using the old one. I won't even use my new one, I guess. I'll but... use the new one, yeah, I like it. Okay. But I'm not going to throw my Oh, they flew away. <laughs> so I can find room for all of them. Mama, we wouldn't throw that one away. We would keep it for corn or something. Y'all know the trick about corn, don't you? Like in this, you country folks, that, or whoever is raising corn, you can use this to cut your corn off the cob. You just put your, let's pretend like this pepper is a corn cob. You put your corn cob in this hole, and the tip of it will go down in there and hold tight, and then you can rake your knife down it, and it'll catch in your bump pan 
and then you got a whole butt pen full of corn and you can pour it out and go about your business and you just keep doing that it's great for corn if you want to use it that way uh, so if, if nothing else this will become a corn pan yeah I wouldn't do it that way I would keep it as a cake pan it's been good to me all these it years it has it's pretty that color is coming back they say if you keep stuff long enough, it'll come back. And we've proven that, haven't we, Mama? Yeah, I do that with my clothes and everything. <laughs> we've proven it'll come back. It'll still be good. Folks, that's all we've got tonight. So, strawberry pie. And it Whatever. looks like, it looks like maybe tomorrow I, might be. I, I looked in the refrigerator putting that strawberry pie in there. We may have to have it fried potatoes and kilt lettuce tomorrow. <sighs> So it would be oh. in the day and not be so late. I just oh, thought about and that. and you do have the lettuce already bought. Yeah, I don't have to So we may have to change the Sunday lunch menu to, I'm going to tell you what we're going to have. See, even Mama just mentioned that. I can tell you the rest of it. So. <laughs> I'm so set and happy. We will have biscuits and baked beans on stovetop baked beans, fried potatoes, bacon, and kilt lettuce. Won't we, Mama? Yeah. Is that the exact menu? That's exactly it. That's what. That's a delicious menu. I, I love fried potatoes. Now, I tomorrow just, we will have plain. I had to move that lettuce that was up there to put my pie in there. So tomorrow we'll have plain old slow cooked fried potatoes. But one of y'all was fixing fried potatoes of the night, and you had egg washed them and put them in bread crumbs. Or bread crumbs. Bread or crumbs. And I'm gonna fix them. Because I just can taste them. I can just think about them and taste them right now. And I was even thinking, you know, you could even put a little cheese on top of them. Wouldn't that be good? Them fried potatoes with egg wash. Put them, I would, I would take the potato. You just put on here that you had uh, bread covered fried potatoes. But I would take that potato. I would put it in flour. Then I'd put it in egg wash. And then I'd put it in bread crumbs. And I'd fry it. And then when I got it out, I'd sprinkle it with a little bit of cheese, and I'd have cheesy breaded potatoes. That sounds so good to me. I'm going to try that one night. But if we have them tomorrow, they'll just be plain old slow fried, yeah. slow fried potatoes. Original. And uh, so Mama said we may change the menu. Hot dogs will probably be coming up this week then. And maybe yeah. I can get some brats by the time we have them then. Mama, that chili, you made it sound so good a while ago. You better... You can go ahead and make the chili. We, well, you... We've got to eat lunch, you know. <laughs> you, uh, you sealed the deal with that wilted wheel, lettuce and onions. Well, I forgot all about my lettuce yes. until I had to... Bake peas. Ship, shift stuff around to get my pie in there. Well, that sounds like... A, either way, it sounds like a winner. Either way. One of one of the two will not switch again. Watch me get up in the morning with something. Y'all like remember the last time I told you on Saturday? I said, we're having hamburgers and french fries for lunch tomorrow. And the next day, she made a pot roast. We had mashed potatoes, <laughs> green beans, and coleslaw. You remember that? Y'all were here. Oh, <laughs> you can't pay no attention to me. We we live everything on the wing, people. We just wing it all the time. That's the reason this show's so crazy. When you get old like me, you've got a right to change your mind. Somebody asked me one time, said, how do y'all plan your shows? Or how do you plan? I said, are you supposed to plan? Because we never plan nothing, folks. This is real life. We have never, even when we, were, when we didn't do lives and we just done straight up videos and I post them, we never edited them. Because for one reason, I didn't know how. And for another reason, that's not what we're all about. We're just about taking a break from the world. And, you know, it is. We do a lot of cooking, but it ain't really a coffee. Coffee time really is not about cooking. It's about everything we do. So we'll take you to the nursery with us when we go buy flowers. We'll do all kinds of stuff. Took you to the produce store last week. Uh, so it's just about what we do and just taking a moment. Some of y'all think get aggravated with us because we've not cooked or, you know, but. If we had a took them to the produce, they would have never met Clarence Jean. Clarence Jean. Clarence Jean sold a lot of beans to y'all. And uh, if you um, want some peanut beans before it's too late to plant them, Clarence Jean says he can uh, mail them to you. I think it's $9 shipping for up to two pounds. So he can do one pound or two pounds for $9. Now that may be high shipping, but if you looked at shipping, it's high. Oh, it's high. But 
if you have to drive more than say ten miles somewhere to get them, it's gonna you cost saved. you nine dollars anyway. <laughs> so uh, I order a lot of stuff because it just gas us how you can't go buy it anyway. But anyway, if you want them, it's it may be getting too late to plant them in a minute. So oh, it's where no. we get to. They'll go in six to eight weeks. They'll come up. And Mama start says purchase. keep buying them. I plant some in August usually to have late ones in the fall. If you want them, go to Riverside Produce, Williamsburg, Kentucky. It's on Facebook. And I think Nola had posted it for somebody last night on the video last night. And she's on here. And she will post it for y'all, I'm sure. So uh, check the plants, <laughs> Jean, if you need some peanut beans. Peanut beans evidently are hard to find outside of rural Appalachia. Because a lot of people have trouble with them. I've got two little short, tiny short rows coming up. Are they coming up, Mama? Oh, they're done up, and I've planted me another little short Let row. me warn y'all about peanut beans. They are heirloom beans. These have not been modified into them long, straight, skinny beans that have no strings, and they're easy to break up. No. These are a bush bean. Now, don't let people say you Red half runners. Pink. You say Pink red every time. Runners, and every time you correct me, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> well, they can't find red half. Don't runners. let people say you pink half runners and tell you those are the same thing because those run, and this is more of a bush bean. It's just a little bean. They're little. They kind of curl up. They're naughty little beans. Sometimes it's hard to. They're harder to get a cannon of them, and they're you have to string them. Now, why in the world would you even want to fool with them? Well, I tell you why, because they're the best tasting bean you'll ever have. They're delicious. I wouldn't give up peanut beans for any other bean I've ever had. I believe good. you just say that so I can work hard at it. Mama, you're the one who introduced them to me. I know it. My mommy always raised them, and we had them. They're delicious. And uh, they are delicious. We put a little bacon grease in them, a little salt, and that's it. And they eat. Oh, they're so good. My mommy loved them better than anything. That's what she loved. That's liked. my favorite. When I think of a green bean, I think of a peanut bean. Now, I'll eat the others, and uh, uh, there's some good ones out there. Uh, our preacher's wife, Miss Priscilla, she brought some to church the other night, and they were not peanut beans. And I don't normally eat church beans because they ain't peanut, but I ate some of her, and they were some of the best beans I ever had, too. They were delicious. And uh, she, but she's a good cook, so anything she cooks is gonna be delicious. Mm -hmm. But uh, she had what did she put a little butter in them? Did she? Yeah, she added butter to hers. Bam, that the, was good. The bacon flour, I mean the meat flavored and some butter. and some butter, and they were delicious. And I don't even know what kind they were, but the peanut beans were my favorite of all time. Delicious, aren't they? Yeah. Folks, we're gonna go because we really we're done with. We've not planted them flowers yet. We need to go get some dirt. Yeah, we didn't get our potting soil. Mama's very picky about potting soil. Well, when you got so many pots to fill, you can't buy a little eight pound bag. And Mom, we got some potting soil. She said that ain't what it want. And I snuck and used that one bag we had out there in my flower in my garden out there. She, what little. do you want, Miracle Grow? Yeah, I'd like to have Miracle Grow to put them. Miracle Grow potting soil. Cause it would, it helps the. It's a miracle, Mama. And bloom better and stuff. And then I add Miracle Grow to it along too. That's right. And we used to use good old fashioned cow manure when we had cows. And if I can buy a bag or two of it, I will anyway because you can take cow manure and put it in a bucket or a tub. And then put you some water in it, and you can water your flowers with it and give them a pick me up. And it's really good that way. That's just a little extra simple something. If you was smart, get up real early. And I get up at 5 o'clock or 4 30. Food with cattle, we can have some. Oh, no, guys. no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, no. You farmers know why I say no. People, if you think farm life is an easy, laid back life, it's got a shocker. It's got a shocker. When you're dealing with anything that's alive and eats and depends on you for their food, you it's seven days that. a week. It never stops. If you're sick, they still have to be fed. If it's Christmas, you still have to do the farm work. 
and they're always needing a pill or a shot or their nose will run or they're something always something. Up. Or flies. You just never know. Or a snake bite. I mean, you know, they're at the wheel. Or coyotes. There's just all kinds of issues. But it's a wonderful thing. We've done it here for years. And my job was usually feeding cows. And I fed many a cow. And uh, that was my uh, job. Going out. And we used big old white buckets. And if you needed a cow from the pasture, all you had to do was hold up a white bucket and bang on it with something and stick. And here they'd come. Every one of them. So, we had Ron Ron that one time. Oh, steward, mercy. He was a pet. Ron you could, Ron. You could just holler his name and he would come to me and Johnny, but his daddy, daddy couldn't get him up that, that good. But Ron we'd Ron pet him stuff. And we would pet him. We turned him into pets. That year was a bad year on the Davis farm because we had Ron Ron. Ron Ron was a big old black white faced cow and a steer. A steer and he was so gentle and so nice and you could go out in the field and catch Ron Ron or you could holler Ron Ron and he'd come and he'd bring all of his friends with him so you know in, in farm life you have to rotate your pastures in order to keep a good pasture for them so you'll have a what they call a gap in the fence and you will or a gate you know and so cows are very particular they won't just go to a new field even if the gate's down and you're trying to drive them through there till they see somebody go through there some other cow so you could always depend on ron ron to transport the cows so we would move him from one field to another field and he would go in and they'd send him, hey ron ron's over let's go and they'd all come so he became a pet well dad was a true farmer 100 <laughs> percent and so it come up time and the the words were used in conversation general like as if it were expected boy he'll make some good eating this winter and i said who he said that steer i said ron ron <laughs> we're not eating ron ron <laughs> no we didn't and he said now that's just farm life you're gonna have to i said we'll eat anything on this farm i don't care but we're not eating ron ron and he comes home to tell mama on me do you know he don't want me to kill ron ron for and I've been fighting him. And my mom said, we are not eating Ron Ron. <laughs> we had him. Ron Ron is not going to be eating in this household. I'm not a fixer. Couldn't do that at all after we made a pet out of him. Long story short, Ron Ron lived here a long time. <laughs> <laughs> and we had to go otherwhere for our meat that year. But anyway, that's just farm life. But yeah, dad was, a, you know, he was like, well, he's been a good one, but... He's going to be good on no, no. He said, don't you to dare. Don't you ever name another cow on this farm. <laughs> we didn't and name him. don't make a pet out of it. We didn't name Ron Ron. That was my uncle. We got him from my uncle, but he was already named Ron Ron. I don't know where he got him from. And so he was just a good, a good cow. My uncle named every cow. Every cow on the farm had a name. So if you bought a cow from him or traded him one, your cow had a name. So, uh, don't you ever name another cow on this farm. <laughs> and we're not, these ain't pets. These are for, these are farm cows. <laughs> but you know he what? I don't think quick. he would have really wanted to eat Ron Ron either. He got over it real quick. Yeah. And he would often remind us, get I... Ron Ron up here. You know, or so crazy about him. Get him over here and get these cows moved. <laughs> 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 Oh, but well, thank you for those stars. Who sent those? Oh, wow. Daisy, thank you so much. Y'all are so kind. We will have our cook along. We will plan on shooting for either one night this week or Saturday, and we'll give away some cookbooks because that's what we like to use our star money for is to buy cookbooks from the church and then we can give them back to you all as appreciation gifts and we love that we love the idea that it's one big happy circle and everybody wins it's a win 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 so we like that but we're not going to bore you with any more stories we are going to say good night and we are going to say y'all have a great evening uh, join me in the morning I don't think we'll be back on here tonight no. if we do it'll just be a, if we do it'll just be an additional few minutes but anyway Join me in the morning uh, for Sunday School Highlights. 
in uh, then we'll have Sunday school lunch to, or Sunday school <laughs> Southern Sunday lunch tomorrow and as you can tell we really don't know what we're going to have but we're going to have something so Mama, Mama we eat nuts today well, I didn't know we did I didn't know we did either I just looked up and I thought looks the same I guess that's all Mama you got anything else no just Good night, everybody. Good night, Mama, and God bless you all. Y'all have a blessed evening, and we will talk to you tomorrow, Lord willing. Bye. Bye. -bye.